So the day before released 10 minutes of gameplay that we've been anticipating for a few days now since the delay and they promised some gameplay I guess to try and prove that the game's real and in my opinion I don't think we're any further forward it doesn't really show anything substantial there's no PvP the movement in my opinion is not natural movement it's definitely uh, pre-planned movement when it's not on an online environment which is what people are really expecting from this game PvP player versus player uh, experience there's none of that being shown which is what i think a lot of people expect and because that's not a thing and the movement is extremely smooth and that's not to say that it isn't actually in the game that they've built so far it just looks very planned out and they're not really showing us too much if not no more than we've already seen in previous trailers in fact less but we did get a good few minutes of the crafting bench, which was pretty cool. And it kind of reminded me of The Last of Us with adding a couple of attachments to weapons. And the weapons do look pretty high detailed. The player model itself, other than one feature that a lot of people seem to like, the, it's not that high detail, to be honest. It, it doesn't look like a final model for that game. It does definitely doesn't look as high detail as previous videos that we've seen from the day before. It looks a bit lower poly, not as detailed. We can see the model's not quite... Uh, around the shoulder area it's not quite as tidy it just definitely looks to me like a lower poly model though there is another player rolling with us so i guess there is a bit of co-op gameplay i guess you could say which kind of suggests that multiplayer is working but again it's it's heavily scripted this looks like still whether it's in game or not um it's all pre-planned there's a very smooth methodic movement and after experiencing some more of the crafting table we do move into the city and we saw a bit more of this highly built up area which is very impressive and I'm quite interested to see how this will actually behave in an MMO environment with a lot of players. Uh, we're still yet to actually fully understand what the actual aim for the game is. As far as I could uh, understand it was kind of going for the division type thing but slightly more PvP as they were out in the wilderness in one of those videos and had players approaching them in the police car across the fields and they raced for that bunker. So yeah, it's uh, this city is going to be... Uh, whew, it's not an easy thing to achieve. Miscreated tried it with downtown, but it was by no means anywhere near as big and detailed in Miscreated. Though it was gorgeous in Miscreated, it was not like this. This is like proper pushing it, it out there uh, for what they want to achieve. So it's uh, I'm, I'm that's what suspends my disbelief. It looks too good to be true all the time. Even though it's had downgrades visually since the older trailers, it just looks too good to be performing with this big city and uh, and everything that they've they've kind of hinted at that what we're going to get with this. It just doesn't look like something that they could actually pull off, especially being a smaller team. Um, that, again, going on the smaller teams, the the volunteers apparently that we've learned recently are not the developers. They are the community side of the team and probably working on uh, PR type stuff. Uh, the volunteers uh, nothing to do with the dev team the dev team are the dev team the volunteers are not the dev team if that makes sense they're, they're, they're all community side so that's that's kind of a, a good thing to, to learn that the volunteers are not unpaid working on the game so well that's from the discord though so and according to the discord moderators they were at one point one of the head moderators didn't even know the game existed a couple of weeks ago a week ago because of these delays now let's go back on to the lawsuit so the day before copyright they couldn't use the name the day before they dropped from steam steam removed them because of the copyright dispute the delay till november 10th till they sort the lawsuit and the legal side out then they dropped this footage with the day before plastered all over it so what happened to that lawsuit was the lawsuit a real thing was it an in-house thing that got out of hand because the community actually looked into it and found that uh, this was all public information and this was all just a ruse to delay after they'd announced literally a week or two before at the nvidia expo the march 1st release and then they were thinking damn we probably should delay like instantly after that announcement kind of doesn't make sense it doesn't add up to me it really doesn't and a lot of the community are on the same boat it just doesn't look right and we're still getting those people that are attacking you for questioning this and saying that the game's going to be amazing stop it these guys are amazing like how do you know it doesn't add up it just doesn't make sense and I, I know developers I've been doing this a very long time and I've had developers say to me if this was me and this stuff was happening with my dev team I would not sleep I would have nightmares it's an it's a nightmare development 
So you can kind of see where my worries lay with the day before and Fantastic. Though the good thing is they have released several games before, three or four games, I think, in early access, uh, the recent one being Prop Hunt. But they have dropped those games in early access a couple of months into development and never actually finished them or got them out of early access. So, you know, that's that's another red flag there, though they have had real games that people can play. So it's kind of, again, swings and roundabouts. It's it's weird. But I did make a point of saying if this is legitimately real and they're just really weirdly promoting this and playing it in a really weird showcasey way, then I'd be happy that it is a real... I want it to be a real game. Let's just put this out there. I want this to be a real game and I want everybody to enjoy it and nothing to be an issue. But the way they're handling it is really weird. And I said to chat that... What's that saying? That no press is bad press? Something like that. And then that's kind of what this looks like to me. They're getting a lot of talk about their game. Yeah, it's not good. They're getting a lot of criticisms. But everybody is talking about it in the survival community as well as just the gaming community in general so it's very much talked about they're getting the publicity whether it's bad or good it doesn't matter it's still publicity so are they really just super clever you decide we could nitpick the gameplay and slow-mo it and all that stuff and probably find little bugs and little glitches that they've not kind of caught themselves little details like leaves not blowing in the trees and stuff like that but we'll leave that for another video maybe because uh, they did release another video and it was a short, a 30 second short and it just showed somebody sat with a keyboard and mouse actually playing the game or were they? So you could examine this again and we did, I slow mode it on stream and then and tried to examine like their mouse movement with the movement on screen and yet again it looked too smooth for somebody actually playing the game. It just looked too smooth and you could fake this easily. Uh, I'm not saying it is fake but you could fake it and at one point in the clip, he does lift his mouse off and put it back down on the mouse mat. And the character movement, the camera movement on the game does not flinch. Not even a little millimeter, not even a pixel flinch. And usually when you pick your mouse up and put it down, it flinches a little bit because of the mouse reset of the laser on your mouse mat. And it just, it just looked too smooth to me again. So I'm not I'm not 100% sure still. We don't know any, no further forward. We needed like proper human movement and, and once we, until we get proper PvP that looks like proper human movement, I think it's just we're just not going to get any further with our, our thoughts on the game. But uh, again, I will reiterate: I really hope it is real, and I hope we're wrong. I really hope we're wrong. But I would just hold off on being hyped or anything like that. As always, don't get excited. I could totally understand people that don't really examine these kind of things and they just see the gameplay and think, "Damn, that looks good," because it does look good. It does look good. But if you look at it from a, a different perspective it looks weird i think that's just because we've been burnt so many times from survival games that say oh they're going to be the next day z they're going to be this that that and they never are and we're so we buy these games or we donate to their kickstarters or whatever their fundraisers and the games just flop uh it, we're just burnt so bad that we don't care anymore and we're really judgmental these days uh, and we've just had enough i think what it is at the end of the day so we just got to, we're just being really careful and uh whether we don't really mean anything by it we just don't want to be burnt again by another potentially amazing survival game that just isn't what it set out to be well let me know your thoughts in the comment section below i won't waffle on anymore i'd uh, love to conversate as always in the comment section below i'll leave links to the raw footage on the fantastic youtube channel as well in the comment section and description below don't forget to hit that like button as it really helps the channel out a lot subscribe if you want to continue to see the content i create i will be covering the day before more in the future whenever we do get more information most of all thank you for watching it really does mean a lot and i'll see you peeps next time